Hello! Today we're going to show you a little teaser of what is to come in the near future for Vital PBX. Here, you will see the integration between Vital PBX and Microsoft Teams. No middleware required. Something you need prior to having this connection, you will need to have a Microsoft Teams license that includes voice. What does this mean? It means that you can include the direct routing configurations. Usually, this is in the Microsoft 365 E5 license. This is necessary. Without it, you cannot have this connection. You can see here that we already have our trunk connected. Be sure to have a valid FQDN, this is important as well, with a valid certificate. Let's encrypt certificates are good enough for this. This is all configured directly between Microsoft Teams and Vital PBX using our upcoming Microsoft Teams connector add-on. As you can see, we have everything up and running without any issues. The first thing that we need to have on Vital PBX's side is our Microsoft Teams connector add-on installed. We also have created a special device profile for PJSIP that includes the needed configurations to work with Microsoft Teams. We're setting the media encryption to SDES is the most important setting. On PJSIP settings, we have also changed the SSL method to use TLS version 1.2. And since we are on a VPS machine on the cloud using a public IP address with a local IP address as well, we have configured the NAT settings for it and added our Microsoft Teams domain. This last field is added with the Microsoft Teams connector add-on. We have also declared our SSL certificate we created using Let's Encrypt directly on Vital PBX. For the trunk, we gave it a name and specified the codecs used by Microsoft Teams. Then, selected the transport, which is added when we install the Microsoft Teams connector add-on. Contacts in match are information that is provided by Microsoft Teams. And very importantly, we add the from domain parameter as well. In this case, this is our domain. For outbound routes, it is very simple. We gave it a name and added a pattern to call the Microsoft Teams numbers. Now, very importantly, we prepend a plus sign so all of our calls exit with a plus sign at the beginning. Microsoft Teams always expects to have a plus sign to comply with the E164 norm. For inbound routes, we use a DID range. As you can see, we also add the plus sign here, as Microsoft Teams will always send us a plus sign at the beginning of our DIDs. In this case, we're using extensions that start in 100. After seeing how everything is configured, we will now proceed to place a couple of calls. For this, we will also have the real-time reports for active calls in Vital PBX, so you can see the call in action. Now, we will call from Microsoft Teams to Vital PBX. So, let's dial extension 100. And as you can see, we are now receiving the call to extension 100. Let's answer it, and we can observe that the call is now up. Afterwards, let's call from Vital PBX to Microsoft Teams. It is ringing, and as we answer, we can now see that the call is perfectly running. Additionally, we can make a test using an IVR on Microsoft Teams, showing that calls can be successfully transferred with no problems. So we now dial extension 3100, which is our IVR. It is ringing now, and we can now Welcome listen to, to the menu. Welcome to PBX. Your call is very important to us. To communicate with Rodrigo, dial or say 1, Oscar, dial or say 2, Jose, dial or say 3, Miguel, dial or say 4, Emmanuel, dial or say 5, and Maynard, dial or say 6. We dial 1. Please wait while your call is being transferred. We see that it is ringing again, and we can answer the call. And with this, the call has been successfully transferred through the IVR menu and we can now hang up. So as you can see, we can perfectly have a connection between Vital PBX and Microsoft Teams directly using our Microsoft Teams connector add-on. We hope that you are very excited about this new feature coming real soon to Vital PBX. See you next time!